Are you tired of wasting your hard-earned money on shitty kitchen gadgets that don't work? Vivian calls the BS. With Vivian Tries, you just sit back and enjoy, just like being in your kitchen with a good old friend. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. No more Halloween edition. I want to thank everybody who had a good time with the Halloween videos, and for all three of you that did not like my Halloween videos, I have a special shirt on for you today. Here it is. I hope you like it. It's just a Halloween costume. Not that big of a deal. Now to our video. Guess what I have today? No, it's not a copper product. I have a whole new set of videos. Today we have this pasta and more as seen on television product. We've tried a few different pasta products. So we tried the microwave pasta maker from the Japanese dollar store. That was a huge hit. We've tried the Fasta pasta. It was okay. So let's see if this one is a hit. Now remember, the one from the Japanese dollar store only cost me $1.50. This guy here cost $19.99. Now the Fasta pasta I think even cost more than that. Let's find out if this guy is going to do better. In this pasta maker, I'm going to make some pasta. Duh. So I have some water right here in front of me some black bean pasta we'll see if it works let's see what we get in this guy it says it's a five piece set so i'm excited what all comes in here i guess a lot better come in here for 19.99 right look what color it is guys is the color a coincidence or what i don't know they must know me y'all know me look at that it's kind of weird. <laughs> On the outside of the box, it looks orange. I'm not sure why it's looking kind of copper right now, but what is happening? Why is everything copper these days? Oh, we get another tray. There's one inside. So many things. Do I need all this? Jesus, I'm just trying to make pasta. Ooh, already has bonus points. You guys, what was my biggest complaint about the Fasta Pasta and the Japanese dollar store pasta maker was how you had to drain it because the lids do not lock. This guy locks. Look, like this. See how it doesn't come off? So when you're draining that water out, you don't have to worry about it because it's in place. I mean, it's not locked in place, but it's better than having nothing, but it just sit on the top, right? So, so far, it's got some points. It's also way bigger than the other two. Remember the Fasta Pasta was small. This thing is way bigger. So with it, you're gonna get the pasta container. You're gonna get the lid that has the strainer on it. The lid. You're gonna get this. What is this? Is this a bonus? What is this? Hmm? One, two, three, four, five. Did I get something extra I wasn't expecting? One, two, three, four, five. But in the picture here, they're counting the recipe book as a piece of this five piece set. If you've seen my five piece square pan video, you guys know my thoughts on that. Uh, the little book doesn't count in my eyes. So this says one pasta container, one steam rack, one strainer lid, one storage lid. So is this a bonus? Did they just throw this in because they were sweet? What, what? I don't see this listed anywhere. It's not even in the picture. This, oh wait, they probably jipped me on my book. No, I did get a book. Oh, okay, see this recipe book is kind of cool. Oh, inside here, it tells you what this is. This is an extender ring. I don't know what that means, but it's not even on the outside of the box. So they could have technically called this a six piece. <laughs> Hello, you guys need to learn from red copper folks. This could have been a six piece. You guys could have totally ran with that. So you're gonna get the steaming rack, strainer lid, the pasta container, duh. You have this extender and then you have the lid. You wanna put it in the fridge. And look how big this is, it's humongous compared to the other two that we've tried. Pretty good for a big old family. Remember that was also my complaint about the Fasta Pasta. You know, maybe for a college student or a single person, but this looks about right to me. Let's get everything washed. And then we're gonna put some pasta in it and put it in the microwave. Per the instructions for one serving, I need half a cup of pasta and then I will fill the water to level one. That's what we're gonna do. It's not a lot, half a cup. Oh, that's not enough. It seems like <laughs> I think I have to do more. Let's do two servings then. Let's do another half a cup. It just doesn't look like enough pasta, huh? That's a sad little dinner. Like, that's not even 
enough for one person. Another half a cup. Maybe it's because the container is big, but that looks kind of sad, doesn't it? it? Looks like a kid serving. Remember, this is black bean pasta. That's why it looks like that. Now it says to fill. Where is the, there it is, level right here on the side. And you can't see it on camera, probably. Yeah, you can, haha. -ha. Right there it says level one. You want to fill the water to that line. Okay, I have my water in here. Big old tub of water. No, so this is gonna be two servings. So I need to get it to the second line, don't I? I almost messed up. Let me read it. Two servings, no, level one. Okay, so one cup of pasta, level one of water. Let's do it. Easy peasy. Is that level one? Did I get it? A little bit more. Boom. Ta-da! Hey, I'm a chef. Welcome back to the Vivian Cooking Show. Ha! That's an inside joke for all my bitches out there. Lid, no. None of them allow you to put the lid on while they're in the microwave. How long are we gonna cook this for? Okay, doesn't say. See, this is the stuff I don't understand. If it goes in the microwave, should it not take less time than it does on the stove? That's the whole idea of putting it in the microwave, don't you think? No, just me. But I'm reading all kinds of crazy numbers right here. Okay, two servings of pasta. It says do not put the lid in it and do not put that rack in it. Fill the water, we've done that. We can do this, but then it says, here it is. Unbelievable. I gave you points because you had the little locking lid. Cook on high for 18 to 20 minutes. What? I might as well boil some pasta on the stove. This is supposed to be faster. That is a long time for those three pieces of pasta in there. Don't you think? I'm already upset. I'm hungry. I'm gonna have to order pizza while this shit cooks. I know you guys are smart because you're watching me, of course. <laughs> I want one of you guys come up with a better idea for this. Can one of you guys create one of these? Just make sure that it has a locking lid so people don't burn their damn hands off when they're straining it, number one. Number two, it's gotta cook in less than 10 minutes. I mean, and that's pushing it depending on the servings. But 20 minutes in the microwave? What the hell am I cooking? A uh, turkey? Remember, no lid. I'm gonna go put it in the microwave. Instructions said 18 to 20 minutes, so I'm gonna put it in the microwave. For 18 minutes, if it needs a little bit more, I'll keep it going. Okay, it's in there. Let's see what we get. Fingers crossed. It's ready. Hope it's not hot because I don't have my gloves on today. Here it is. Done. I know it looks like black beans. It's not black beans. It's black bean pasta, folks. Not bad. They look lovely. They're steaming, and thank goodness this is made out of plastic, so it is not hot at all. Okay, now we're gonna slip on this little thing. You just put it on like that, right? Let's make sure it's on, because I don't want to burn myself. Okay, I think it's on. Straining lid, use only when steaming and straining. Well, duh. When, when would you use a straining lid? So I'm going to strain it into here so you guys can see. If I burn myself, it's over, mother suckers. Everybody ready? Here we go. Okay. Wait, I don't want to hold it because that's the whole idea of the straining lid, right? Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. See, and it's not even draining from like underneath. It's actually draining from the hold on the lid. Beautiful. Look, see? Easy, right? Just have the lid lock on. That's not that hard, folks, who make this stuff. Pasta, pasta. Ta da I know the pasta doesn't look that great, but it's so good. So there is my beautiful black bean pasta, perfectly made. My only complaint about this thing is the amount of time it takes in the microwave to cook. Besides that, I think they nailed it. They have the lid, they have a bigger container. If they could somehow speed up the cooking process in that microwave, this would be perfection. But it's pretty close. So it's definitely a winner in my eyes. I'm gonna give the pasta and more five Vivian heads. Now for question of the day. Some of you have some really wacky usernames and I'd love to get to know who you really are. You know my name, my name is Jennifer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you all know my name, it's Vivian. So tell me your name in the comments. Tell me your real name, what you want 
to be called. And if your username is your name, just let me know what you prefer me call you. Hopefully I can remember everybody. It's a lot of you guys. I might not, but I'll try. All right, you guys, that is it for another Vivian Tries. Thank you so much for coming back week after week. If you have enjoyed this video, please let me know that by giving it a big fat thumbs up. In the comments down below, let me know if you've seen a cool kitchen or food product that you think I should try might be featured in an upcoming episode. You might have just found this video. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. All right, you guys, that's all that I have for you today. I'll see you in the next one.